I just got done seeing The Flash, and boy, are my legs tired from trying to run out of the theater because I didn't like it. We'll explore that more. Yes, I just left the theater not too long ago, and I had some thoughts about The Flash, why it's bombed, and why we're all here talking about The Flash. I think there's a couple of problems. Before we get into it, though, I am the man you may know as Z, and I am from Our Reviews Will Kill You. We're an audio podcast as well, which you can get for free on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those places and more, so please check us out. It's Our Reviews Will Kill You. But anyway, let's talk about The Flash. I am of several thoughts on this movie. There will be spoilers ahead, so if you haven't seen it, we're going to talk about it. We're even going to get into the cameos. So I have pretty much avoided everything about The Flash, and this won't be one of my usual rants because there was nothing really to make me that upset. Um, Because it's it's, it's ultimately, it's not that bad of a movie. It's just not a good movie. Uh, so it's somewhere in between, which is never good. There are pieces of a good movie in here, but they are lacking. I've heard a lot of people say that this is a Batman movie. It is not a Batman movie. This is very clearly Ezra Miller's movie. In fact, there's so much Ezra Miller, we get to double down on it. We'll get more into that. But first, let's talk about the good, and then we'll get to the bad. What did I think was good? I felt like uh, there were components of a story that were good here. I felt like some of the acting was good. Some of the cameos were fun to see. Some of them were, I guess, an abomination. A little bit hard to say there. I um, thought there was probably about 30 minutes of a good movie in here. And there was way, it's two and a half hours, way too long. There was plenty that could have been edited out and consolidated for time. A lot of, you know, while the member berries were there, I still thought some of this stuff was really cool. You know, getting to see some of the bat stuff. I don't know why you show the Batmobile and then don't ever actually use it. A little strange. Anyway, let's talk about one of the reasons why people aren't going to like this movie or go see it. Let's start with the CGI. Talk about janky, whack CGI. This is some of the worst CGI I have ever seen in a movie in a long time. And we'll just start the opening sequence with the Flash being annoying and trying to save people and the way that they treat the Speed Force. Super irritating. Uh, There's a bunch of babies. There's a baby shower. And the CGI just so bad. Not at no point in this movie did I believe like the uncanny valley was just too much i don't even know why he had to save a bunch of babies like you could have saved yourself like 30 million dollars in like cgi costs just right there you you didn't need to do it so i didn't really understand that uh this movie is funny it's funnier than it had any right being i thought it was it was amusing but I didn't know if I was laughing at the movie or laughing with the movie. I felt like I was laughing at it. Like there was jokes that didn't make, that weren't that funny, that just didn't work. One of the ones that didn't land, especially, again, spoilers, there's a, a giant um, ball that they're keeping Supergirl in. And they keep calling it a scrotum. And he mentions it at least two or three times. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, I thought the middle section of the movie was pretty good. But then you get to the end section. The end is pretty terrible. The opening sequence is really weak, except for the Batfleck part of it. I thought Batfleck was really good. It was really good to see him. I thought Michael Keaton was pretty good as Batman. He wasn't like amazing, but he wasn't like bulletproof. I don't understand. He literally held his cape out to be bulletproof like fifteen times. It was a little much, a little much. And uh, the other big problem is the the Ezra Miller problem. And and this is part two of three. So first was CGI, second is the Ezra Miller problem. People don't like Ezra Miller, and not only do they not like him, but his performance in this is extraordinarily grating. He plays two versions of himself. And I think at times he forgot which version of which one he was playing because you get the normal neurotic Barry Allen character that he has suddenly becomes not neurotic because he has a even more irritating like stoner version of himself that's like a young 
guy and he's naked way too many times. He's naked in this like five times. It's just too much. Ezra Miller does not have the body for this. He's, I don't understand what he's doing. What, like none of it makes sense. Um, there are times when he is good in it. There's a scene in the back cave that I think he actually does very well. But other than that, it doesn't make a ton of sense. They, they, you know, recast some people, but didn't recast others. The whole thing left me thinking like, why? I just kept saying why. Third problem, word of mouth. No one's going to say that this was a good movie. No one's going to tell people that you should stay to the end to watch the end credits or to watch the additional scenes. There is an additional scene. There's no reason to stay for it. There just isn't. Like, it doesn't, it literally adds nothing to anything. Let's take a look at the article real quick. Uh, f- flash box office flame out as new regime holder of Warner Brothers Discovery is David Zaslav. It opened to 55 million. That's even lower than what was expected. Like it's just, it was, it was not good. Um, and what, and he, w- apparently he was just at, took the stage at CinemaCon in Las Vegas, triumphantly telling theater owners it was the best super pick he's ever seen. I've heard several people, they contacted Tom Cruise to say that he thought it was a great, um, a, a great movie. Like all of that, we were clearly lied to. The people were saying like, this is probably one of the greatest superhero movies ever made. And at first, I had high expectations. I thought this was good. I liked the director, uh, the guy who directed it. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Muchetti. Um, I thought he he was a pretty good director, but this is just this is bad. And and they're trying to compare it to Watchmen and Green Lantern. Those made fifty million dollars on on like l- smaller budgets and much and you know not adjusted for inflation or anything. Like this is really really bad really bad so uh and no one's gonna talk about it no one's gonna say anything to people no one's gonna you know no one's gonna do anything it, this you gotta the the uh, they might have spent 350 million dollars on this movie and they threw everything they possibly could at this they threw every damn cameo they could get their hands on i won't even spoil the the real big cameo at the end the thing that irritates me, and and I just don't understand, if you're talking about the end too, you had a way to fix the Ezra Miller problem. You have him; he's this actor that might be like an untouchable actor because he's done so many criminal, he's been involved in so much criminal activity. Nobody likes him. He seems to be a brat outside of Hollywood, and he's just torturing people, and might be involved in cult like things, and he's and he's holding people hostage and all sorts of weird stuff, and. You have this, uh, this like, uh, this this actor that you know is unlikable, and th- no one's responding well to him. You could have changed the ending where they were, because they were changing so many characters, so many characters. You know, we know that Superman isn't Superman. We know that Batman isn't Batman. We saw all that in the trailers. At the very end, you could have just swapped out a new Barry, and no, and everybody would have just bought it. But no, they doubled down and stuck with Ezra Miller, and I think that was a giant mistake. Here's the other problem, and this is a major spoiler, folks. So if you want to tune out on this one, I, I'm okay with that. I've been trying to keep you from like I spoiled a little tiny bit. This is this is big, so I'm I'm gonna just go right into it. There's a lot of backlash now, and the backlash isn't so much that the cameos were even there. It has to do with the wonky garbage CGI. And this is like a moral point, I guess, is people are really mad. They just threw all these cameos at the wall and there was just no need for them because it doesn't add anything to anything. It just doesn't make sense why they even put any of this stuff in. So some people are like, you know, The Flash blatantly disrespecting Christopher Reeve, George Reeve, Adam West, and bringing them all back for tasteless and grotesque cameos via CGI necromancy. And that's the point is that it's just, it's an, it's really, you know, those guys never agreed to this. They're probably not getting paid. Their states aren't getting paid. You're using their likenesses for nostalgia bait and it has nothing to do with anything. This is like their multiverse thing. And I just, I found it really distasteful you know 
even replaying all the music over over and again. Uh, this person says the the Flash has overtaken Wonder Woman 1984 is the worst superhero superhero movie I've ever seen. I don't agree with that. Uh, Wonder Woman 84 had nothing redeeming about it. This has it's it's okay. It's not a terrible movie. Wonder Woman 84. I dare you to tell me anything about that movie that you'll remember at all. At least it said terrible CGI cameos. It is genuinely terrible to see these like it, it, it just doesn't even add anything either. And they didn't even look good. So and the and the bigger part of it is all these guys are 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 dead. You know? Like it's not it, it, it's just real tough to deal with. You know, Andrew Andy Machete, like what why? Why did you make that decision? Um I just I don't get it. It's it's a bad, bad look. <clears throat> I, I think it's it's just terrible. There's no integrity. They don't even get a perform. Like I don't know. It's just bad. And all those guys were dead. So I, I get why people are pissed. Uh, I'll keep you from seeing some of the, the other cameos. But what do you guys think? Was it disgraceful for them to use those cameos? Do you think that they should allow this to happen in the future did you see the flash did you like it i know some people out there are going to say they liked it there is i mean you can say you like the movie i'm okay with that there is no way you can say that the cgi in this was good enough people complain about marvel cgi this is some of the worst cgi uh, it's it's unbelievable how bad the cgi is in this and i know part of it was like a creative decision but like they literally cgi every single character in the movie at one point it, it's just it's bizarre it makes no sense and is not good the the final act is terrible it's not good it's not interesting it doesn't even make any sense it's virtually incoherent it looks like they were trying to figure something out with reshoots i don't know but let me know what you guys think in the comments. We read them all. We make sure that it's, you know, we, we check them all out. I think a lot of people are just going to be like, why pay to see this when I can see this on HBO or on Max in a couple of weeks or a couple of months? There's no point. And no one's going to tell anybody to go see this movie. So let me know what you think. Um, catch out our other stuff. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for listening this long. I really do appreciate it. But I got to move on. I got to get. I got. I got to go back to Star Labs. I'm on to the next one.